Hey, it's Jess. Um, this is my 23-week post-op gastric bypass video. Um, I weighed in this week, and I had a super good week. I uh, I didn't make a video last week, but um, it was kind of because I'd like really been working out at the gym, and um, I actually gained two pounds from working out, and I was 198, and it was really demoralizing to say the least, you know, because I was really, really working it and working out like made me a lot hungrier so <laughs> I ate more and um, well it made me gain two pounds but so I was at 198 last week and this week I was at 192 and I went at 188 on my home scale so that's perfect I um, my goal is by January 1st I want to be um, 100 pounds down so that's like 18 pounds on my home scale because I, I've weighed every morning like naked in the morning after I pee before I eat to make sure you know that it's I don't know consistent so because one or two pounds up or something or quarter pound up is really psychologically destructive for me I just really want to see downward progress so anyway so I've been going to the gym and um, I've been swimming every day and like um, on the days that Monday Wednesday and Friday they have an old lady swimming aerobics group and I've been doing that with them but you know I that's what I started out doing before my surgery and uh, it was at 270 I was like man these old ladies are kicking my ass you know because dude it was so hardcore you know but now that I'm you know like 80 pounds smaller uh, it wasn't a class at all it was my girth and so the class is almost too easy for me now you know so I go in the gym and on I do the swing aerobics with them on Monday and Wednesday and Friday and then I uh, I've been swimming you know I I put my ring on each finger you know and um, I try to do 13 laps in uh, you know one being one lap <laughs> in uh, 30 minutes because I'm blind in this. <laughs> I think my vision is like 20 over 4, 50 or something, so I can't see the clock in the pool, so I have to use my ring to gauge the time. And then after 13 uh, laps, I check to see what time it is. Um, I've been trying to up the protein. You know, I've been having a protein shake in the morning, which um, I've been trying to spark people, like record what I'm eating kind of, and I found out that my protein shake is only like, 150 calories or something, 130, I can't remember. And so um, it really fills me up, and I use it with the magic bullet, you know. I put it like a scoop of protein, which is 25 grams of protein, and then some frozen fruit and a little bit of skim milk, and I, mm, my magic bullet, and voila, it's a protein shake. But anyway, I've discovered that tuna, a can of tuna, is almost the same um, protein as one of my protein scoops. You know, those protein shakes, they do get a little old. The lady at the um, nutrition shop told me that in order to get the protein I would need, I'd have to have five a day, which is just, that's all I'd ever do, you know? So, I have a protein shake in the morning, and then I have been eating some tuna on crackers for a snack, and then I eat lunch with the boys, and then I have the other half of the can of tuna for a snack, and then I eat a light dinner with the boys, and I'm trying to watch my water because I think a lot of my hunger has been um, dehydration. I'm not wearing my glasses this week because um, there's no way to do it in the evening and not have a crazy bad glare. And uh, I've been like wearing makeup more often. I'm kind of rediscovering being girly because when I put on makeup at 270 pounds, it just was like, a big fat girl with some makeup. I mean, I don't feel like I was any more attractive, you know? But now it just takes me from like an ordinary housewife to like ginger on Gilligan's Island, so I'm really getting into it, but I just don't exactly know how to do it quite yet. And uh, so I'm working on it. And uh, I'm in 18s this week, so that's super exciting. Here, I'll show you a full body shot. I have to put my glasses so I won't fall. <laughs> All right. Here's my whole body shot. So it's getting better, you know? It looks kind of like a woman's body again. See, here's my crazy glare with glasses. 
I just got out of the shower, so my hair is wet. Um, I think my hair is starting to come back, which is really good news. And um, you know, I feel strong and powerful and beautiful. I I ran into a guy this week um, who had gastric bypass, and he was. I don't know, 370 or something, and he just looks like a like a muscular guy, you know. He just had broad shoulders and a thin waist, and he looked like he'd never been fat in his life. And um, you know, I think he's really gay. <laughs> so he said that you know, for a while he felt like the fat boy going to clubs and stuff, and now he's finding his groove again and stuff. And we talked for a long time and he talked about the emotional battle and the, uh, you know, I just really felt inspired by it to tell you the truth. And, um, there's a lady at the gym this week who, um, you know, it's a really nice lady. And, um, she said that she's watched my progress and she's really been inspired by, um, how I'm looking at the gym, you know, and, uh, she talked to me for a while and I gave her my number and, um, she said I'm inspired and she's thinking about um, having bypass too and you know whether she does or not I'm not saying it's the answer for everyone but I, I'm inspiring wow you know I've always been inspired by everyone else you know and she said that when she first started seeing me she you know saw that I was demoralized just where she is and I felt lost and you know I wasn't very friendly and she says now I just seem to have a you know, a sparkle in my eye, and I seem so much happier, and um, I don't know, I feel like people are wanting to get closer to me because I'm feeling a lot more positivity, <laughs> and um, as I heard her about how she felt lost, and how she felt like it, she was powerless, and how she's tried, and tried, and tried, and tried, and put up the good fight, and had a valiant effort, and all this, I know exactly what she's talking about I know exactly and I remember being that girl and I couldn't stand her neither could anyone else you know because I was just so unhappy so um I don't know so I guess this week I saw you know it's like the um the Christmas Carol you know I saw the future um with bypass and I saw you know my past without it and uh I feel like I'm somewhere right smack dab in the middle. I'm not, you know, so thin that you could never tell I had bypass. I'm not 100% over my problem. But I'm also not that fat girl, can, you know, always sitting in the corner, a wallflower at prom, um, wishing someone would ask her to dance, you know, so to speak. <laughs> so, um, you know, I... I uh, I feel good. I'm starting to look at my body and I'm starting to remember what it feels like to have a woman's body and curves and I'm starting to remember, um, you know, I I feel more confident with my husband <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's it's been an adjustment. You know, sometimes I feel like when I look in the mirror, I either see a 270 pound person or I either see a 120 pound person. I can't you know, I can't resolve it where I am exactly quite yet. And sometimes it's strange not being socially invisible anymore. Um, sometimes I wonder if the people that are talking to me would still be talking to me if I was 270 or, um, you know, sometimes my husband, he'll say he's so much more attracted to me now and I don't know, should I be offended or flattered? I don't know, it's, it's a journey to say the least, so... Um, I really feel good this week. Um, my husband is leaving on Sunday to go to his, um, you know, army sponsored camp out in Death Valley. So that's the first step of our deployment. And so, um, I'm trying to think about how, um, how I'm going to live my life without him again for another year. You know, I, I mean, I'll have to do it, but uh, Mommy? it's hard. So, anyway, duty calls next week.